Today's exploration, where we dive deep into the heart of AT&T's current market position. Why is AT&T, T, stock down? Great time to buy at, NT. T stock analysis sets the stage for our discussion. In this video, we'll dissect AT&T's market performance and financial health, scrutinize its recent earnings, and embark on a comprehensive valuation journey. To illuminate these insights, we'll leverage three cornerstone valuation methods, DCF, DDM, and the Graham Valuation Method, employing my specialized Google Sheets for clarity and depth. These invaluable resources are readily available for you on my Patreon page, ensuring you have the tools at your fingertips for an informed investment decision. Enthusiasts and dividend devotees, let's put on our analytical goggles and zoom in on the AT&T T stock chart you've graced my screen with. Over the past five years, T-Stock has slid down the slope like a skier who's missed the warning signs, dropping a chilling 25.70%. If stock prices were temperatures, we'd be in a bit of an ice age, wouldn't we? As of the last close, the stock stands at $17.20, hinting that the market's giving us the cold shoulder here. But hold the phone, and not just because it might be an AT and T model. There's a silver lining that could be more lustrous than grandma's antique silverware. A generous annual dividend yield of 6.45%. That's the kind of yield that makes dividend hunters' hearts beat faster than a kid chasing the ice cream truck. The quarterly dividend amount is 28 cents per share. Sure, it's not as hefty as a Thanksgiving turkey, but it's a consistent piece of the pie, and that stability is like comfort food for investors. While the chart shows a trend that's been as bumpy as a ride in a wagon on a cobblestone street, there's an uptick around July 14th, 2023, where it hits $14.50. Could this be the start of a Rocky Balboa-style comeback? Only time will tell, so stay tuned as we unravel more in the AT&T stock saga. Now don't forget, if you're itching to get your hands on the same valuation tools I use to dissect these stocks like a Thanksgiving turkey, head on over to my Patreon page. You'll find all the goodies there, including my Google Sheets valuation tool. Go on, it's like the secret recipe to your investing feast. Finance aficionados, it's time to get down and dirty with AT&T's numbers like a pig in financial mud. First off, let's tackle the income statement, where the blue bars of revenue are standing tall like skyscrapers at $32.02 .02 billion, a modest climb of 2.17% year over year. AT and T is raking in the dough, but not without spending a few bucks. It's like splurging at a buffet, but still wanting dessert. Their operating expenses have trimmed down by 3.80%, which might mean someone's been on a budget diet. Now, hold on to your calculators, because net income has done a high jump worthy of an Olympic gold, soaring up by 109.30% to $2.19 billion. That's like finding an extra nugget in your chicken meal. This financial fiesta has bumped the net profit margin up by the same figure, 109.10%. However, it's not all confetti and streamers, folks. Earnings per share have dropped faster than my phone's battery life at an 11.48% decline, and it seems like someone's been spending a bit too much on shiny new things, as EBITDA is also up by 16.06%. Switching over to the balance sheet, the yellow and blue bars of assets and liabilities are doing a tango. Total assets have gone up just a smidge at 1.04%, sitting pretty at $407.06 billion, like adding a fancy new garage to your mansion. But, folks, there's a plot twist. Total liabilities have shrunk by 2.95%. That's like paying off a chunk of your mortgage and still having cash for a fancy dinner. Cash and short-term investments are looking plumper than a Thanksgiving turkey at an increase of 83.79% to $6.80 billion. That's a piggy bank that's been feasting. And now, the finale, the cash flow statement. It's like checking the health of a river, and a and has got some interesting currents. Net income is consistent with our earlier fiesta, but cash from operations has got more flow than a yoga class, up by 10.33%. But investing activities are down by a whopping 53.65%, like someone's just cut back on their eBay splurges. Financing cash flow is also down by 21.94%. Maybe hinting that AT&T is easing up on borrowing like a reformed shopaholic. However, don't throw your party hats just yet. Net change in cash has plummeted by a staggering 163.59%. But remember, a big spender isn't always a bad thing if it's for the right investments. And free cash flow, the lifeblood of dividends, has taken a tumble by 60.11%. It's like finding out your chocolate milk has gone skim. Still good, but not as rich. As you digest these hefty numbers, let's not forget where you can get the scoop on how to value these figures with pizzas.
On, on my Patreon page, with all the Google Sheets valuation tool glory you could ask for. Stock market maestros and number crunchers. It's showtime at the Earnings Theater with AT and T's Q4 2023 financial summary as the star of the show. Let's take a look at the top line number, shall we? Revenues are holding up str stronger than my commitment to not eat the last cookie. We're talking a slight uptick from $31.3 billion in Q4 BU22 to $32.0 billion in Q423. That's a cozy 2.2% increase for the quarter and a warm blanket 1.4% rise for the whole year. The mobility service is strutting with a 3.9% growth and it's flexing a 4.4% increase for the entire 2023. Consumer broadband isn't slacking off either, boasting an 8.3% jump. Looks like more folks are binge-watching shows at home. Now, let's peek at the adjusted EPS, sitting pretty at 54 cents. That's down a tad from last year's 61 cents, but let's not sulk over spilled milk. For the grand 2023 finale, the adjusted EPS hits a high note at $2.41. The plot thickens with a twist. There's a 10 cents impact from some backstage drama, like higher non-cash pension costs and a bit of a tax hike. Cue the drumroll for cash from operations, a whopping $11.4 billion in Q4, Y23, a $2.5 billion bump for the full year, and the crowd goes wild. Free cash flow is doing a victory lap with $6.4 billion, up from the previous $6.1 billion. It's like finding extra cash in your winter coat pocket. Capital expenditures are chugging along at $4.6 billion, but capital investments are where the action's at, a solid $5.6 billion including a billion dollar handshake with vendor financing payments. 2023's free cash flow finale, a round of applause for the $16.8 billion, which is $2.6 billion more than the previous year. As for the adjustments, we've got some direct EV, intangible amortization, and an actuarial gain loss doing a tango. While impairments and restructuring take a dive from $3.57 billion to $0.06 billion, talk about a diet. Tax items decide to do a little subtraction magic too. Bottom line, it's like watching a financial soap opera. There's drama, there's action, and there are numbers that make you say, hmm, I need to think about that. For those of you eager to do more than just think, head on over to my Patreon page and let's crunch these numbers with the gusto of a kid in a candy store using my Google Sheets valuation tool. Stay tuned as we take these earnings and run them through the valuation gauntlet. Some serious numbers and put AT&T through the valuation ringer using our trusty dividend dynamics valuation tool. So fasten your seatbelts. Let's get this financial party started with the DCF discounted cash flow model, where we gaze into the crystal ball of future cash flows. Peering through the fog, we can spot the future free cash flow numbers rising like freshly baked bread from $29.42 billion in 2022 to a toasty $69.71 billion in 2030. Using a discount rate that's tighter than a new pair of skinny jeans at 9%, the present value of these future cash flows looks as plump as a Thanksgiving turkey at a sumptuous $265.32 billion. Now, every good feast needs its trimmings, and our trimmings are cash and cash equivalents, sitting at a cozy $20.46 billion, alongside a tower of total debt that's reaching for the sky at $145.42 billion. Doing the financial tango, we dance our way to an equity value of $140.36 billion. Divide this hefty sum by the number of shares out there in the wild, 7, 15B, and voila, our DCF model whispers a price of $19.62 per share, like a secret only your broker knows. Swinging over to the DDM, dividend discount model, it's like reading the tea leaves for dividend lovers. We're seeing a dividend of $0.278 for 2023, holding steady as a monk in meditation with zero growth rate. With the WACC, weighted average cost of capital, floating like a butterfly at 5.91%, the DDM model gives us a value that might make you spit out your coffee, a mere $4.39. Comparing that with the current market price of $17.18, it's like watching your souffle fall in the oven, a difference of minus 250.59%. Now, before you throw your investing cookbook out the window, remember, models are more like guidelines than hard rules. They're the financial equivalent of a GPS. Sometimes they'll lead you straight to treasure, and other times, well, you might just end up in the neighbor's pool. Before you dash off to tweak these numbers to your heart's content, using my Google Sheets valuation tool, available for the elite members on my Patreon page, Let's remember that investing is part art, part science, and all adventure. So, keep your wits about you, and may your investments be as fruitful as a vineyard in the summer sun. Right. Don't forget, fellow dividend seekers, it's time to take a seat in the cockpit with our captain, Mr. Benjamin Graham, and navigate through the AT&T valuation atmosphere.
Here's a glance at our dashboard. The EPS, earnings per share, shows a robust $1.97. And when we input the growth rate, G, at 0.77, and the AAA bond yield, Y, at 5.03, the Graham valuation model gives us an intrinsic value, V, of $31.98. That's like discovering your old baseball cards are worth a mint. Now, compare that to the current market price of $17.18. It's like the stock is on a discount aisle with a 53.71% price chop. Our margin of safety, the airbag for our investment vehicle, is a cushy 65%. And the acceptable buy price, or the price we'd happily pay, is $20.79, cheaper than a tank of gas in some places. Let's switch our gaze to the whole valuation panel. The discounted cash flow, DCF section is looking sunny with an average growth rate of 11.39%, painting a pretty forecast for AT&T's future. The DCF price per share is sitting at $19.62, which makes the current price look like a bargain deal. However, if we take a peek over at the dividend discount model, DDM, there's a bit of turbulence. It's showing an intrinsic value of $4.39. Ouch, that's less than the price of a fancy latte. But don't let that spill your coffee just yet, because the weighted average cost of capital, BAU ICC, is a low 5.91%, suggesting that the investment risk is like a walk in the park. Now. You've got all the coordinates you need to chart your course. Whether you're cruising with Graham, flying with DCF, or making a pit stop at DDM, remember that the skies are friendlier with a solid plan and a little bit of patience. And while you're plotting your investment journey, don't forget to hop over to my Patreon page where you can snag the Google Sheets valuation tool for yourself. It's like getting a first-class ticket to the land of informed investing. Finally, don't just parachute out after this valuation voyage. Click on the next video link to stay flying high with us and watch more Dividend Dynamite content. Remember to buckle up your portfolio, enjoy the investment ride, and, as always, invest wisely. Until next time.